How would you feel if I told you you could save a life today? Joining me today is Tracy Wiley, who works as our partner in organ donation and tissue donation. Welcome, Tracy. Thanks so much for having me. It's great to see you. So we're talking about Donate Life Month, which is in April, and that's a time when we really do try to bring awareness to donating organs and tissue. So we all know about organ donation when it comes to going to get a new driver's license on you circle whether or not you're an organ donor. And I think also people tend to think about the big stuff like livers and kidneys and, and, and hearts and things like that. But there's more to it than that. Tracy, can you talk about that a little bit? Absolutely, yeah. When you register to become an organ donor in the state of Wisconsin, you are registering organ, tissue, and eyes um, for both uh, transplants and research. Yeah, that's really neat. I actually was an eye bank technician back before I went to medical school, so I was involved in harvesting eyes. And these days, it's not maybe as gruesome as it might sound. We take the corneas out, and uh, that's the, the clear part of the eye, and we use that for research and transplant, as you said. But this is so important because it, it's amazing that you can literally save someone's life, someone whose kidneys are no longer working and are on dialysis, uh, someone who has congenital heart disease, uh, this can really be a lifesaver. So when I take my driver's license and I circle the organ donor yes part, how much of an impact can I make with doing by doing that? Yeah, as an organ donor, you can save up to eight people's lives. Wow. As a tissue donor, which you also register for when, right. you, when you say yes to donation at the DMV, um, you can impact 75 plus lives. Wow. And that just kind of depends on what you end up donating as tissue. Um, for, for tissue, that could be, it could be bone, skin, cornea, mm -hmm. um, it could be veins, it could also be heart valves. Heart valves, in fact, are actually a life-saving tissue transplant. That's so amazing. not only can you impact lives as a tissue donor, you can save lives as right. well. Right, that's amazing. And I think that's the big piece of this. I don't think people have a really good idea of just how big of an impact you can make. And organs and, and tissue, they're kind of a rare thing, especially organs. Can you speak about that? Yeah, so statistically speaking, less than 1% of the population go on to be organ donors. So it's an incredibly rare gift. And there's over 100,000 people right now waiting for a life-saving transplant. So what happens in the event that I want to be an organ donor and maybe I haven't gotten around to signing the driver's license, but my family knows that I really have interest in doing that. And what happens if unfortunately I go on to die? Can my family manage that for me? Yeah, um, in fact, if you do not uh, state on your driver's license that you would like to be an organ donor, um, it's your family that makes that decision. Unless you implicitly state other places like your POA or your will that you say, no, you do not want to be a donor. Gotcha. So I think that's, it's a good point because it's really, really important that people talk to their family members about their wishes, mm -hmm. um, whether they're registered or, or not registered. Obviously, it's a personal choice. Um, yeah. But it's one of those conversations that um, are important to have, but it, we talk a lot, of, it's important to talk about, um, talk to your family about end of life and what you, your wishes are. Right. Organ donation is a great conversation to lead into that because it's a positive mm -hmm. aspect of end of life. That's great information. So April is Donate Life Month. And in observance of that, we're going to have a flag raising right here at Door County Medical Center. Can you talk to us about yeah, that? Yeah, absolutely. On Wednesday, April 10th at 108, we will be raising the flag yep. in honor of um, those who have donated, those who have given the gift of life, and also those who are waiting for a life-saving transplant. 108, that's pretty specific. Yeah, remember, one organ donor can save up to eight lives. That's right. So we invite everyone to come to the flag raising. We hope to see you there. Thank you so much for joining us, Tracy. Thank you so much for having me. We'll talk soon.